The latest eruption of the Mount Etna is in the usual Strombolian style, uh, means that the fountains of lava uh, oozing out in the 100 or 200 meters high, and then flow of the lava comes down from the slope. In the dark, of course, you cannot see the shape of the cone of the volcano, but we have seen it during the daylight, and the daylight view uh, from the previous eruptions look like what I will show you now. This is two times the speed, of course, but the flow of the lava is visible even at this stage. You can see it's forming a delta at the bottom part of the image. This is the daylight view from a previous eruption. You can see the same vent uh, in that previous one also erupting here. And that uh, there's a channel from the summit to that. This is not one single summit volcano. It has many numerous uh, summits. Some of them are sometimes active. The other time they are not. And a different place eruption happens. It has changed shape over time as we know it. It's one of the most active volcanoes in the Europe. Your Eurasia, we can say. Uh, it's collision of the Africa and the closure of the Tethys Ocean created many volcanoes including this one in Italy which African plate is going under the Eurasian plate and melts down when it reaches the depth that it actually released the liquid out of it and uh, fluids of the uh, oceanic crust which were at the bottom of the Tethys Ocean helps it actually to melt quicker and uh, when it comes rises back it creates these pimples we call volcano Mount Etna is one of them we have now a seismic profile of this uh, the blue ones are actually the colder slab uh, and the uh, red one is the molten material that is resulting from the melting of the slab of the oceanic crust from the ancient uh, Thetis Ocean melting down and coming up practically recycling the old oceanic crust and uh, erupting as a volcano to the surface.